Hello, my crafty friends. We're going to be putting together a lap book um, in this stream. We're starting it. So we'll see how far we can get. Hi, Mina. I'm so glad you're here. <coughs> Better go ahead and get a cough drop so maybe I can make it through without coughing too much. Hi, Holly. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Joan. <coughs> Hi, Janet. I'm doing better. I'm not, don't feel perfectly together, but I'm, I'm doing better. Hi, Terry. Hi, Holly. Oh, I said hi, Holly already, I think. Hi again, Holly. <laughs> <coughs> hi, Maria. Well, thanks for popping in. I'm going to wait a few minutes and let some more people get in here. Um, I think my plan is going to be to start working on the lap book at 715. That way it gives a few people time to get notifications or hunt us down or whatever. Um, hi, Linda. It's good to see you here. So that's that's my plan is to start working on it at 715. Um, hi, Alina. It's good to have you here. Hi, Tanya. Tanya, I got something in the mail from you today. Um, do you want me to open it now or later? I'm glad you're going to be working along, Tanya. Is anybody else going to be working along building a lap book while I'm doing it? Hi, Mindy. Hi, Dawn. Open it now. Okay. Well, I actually got two things from Tanya in the mail. Um, one is that little, um, well, it's a very cute card. And oh, they're inside. And some little goodies. Some little flower power some flower power um and the little things she was sending me so i can carve those stamps that she sent me earlier so i'll put this in my book um i'll do that on another on another um video but thank you for that tanya and then i'm not sure where to where's the best place to open it I'm going to go right here. I have no idea what's in here, so I don't want to cut something. She wrapped it up very, very well protected. Oh, what a cute card. Isn't that cute? Uh, Tanya says, I did not have a brand new graphite stick, so I'm sending you a loved on one. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Well, it'll have some experience then. Maybe it'll know what to do on its own since I've never used one of those. Oh, 
Oh, goodness, Tanya. Some water-soluble oil pastels. Thank you so much, Tanya. That's so sweet. Hi, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. Judy, it's good to see you. Violet, I'm so glad y'all are all here. Let's see. Get out my loved graphite pencil. Ooh, that feels like silk. Okay, that's going to be fun to play with. It's amazing how much, it, when you hold it in your hand, it feels like wax and metal at the same time. It's got a, a weird, I guess it's a cold feeling like metal, but it feels like wax too. How fun is that? These are going to be fun to play with too. Hi, Sharon. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to go ahead and um, open this up and look at them since I've got a few minutes before we... I want to start. I'm going to start the lap bucket at 7.15. And that's going to be my plan every week is to start it at 7.15. So if people are running a little bit late, they can still get here in time. There's a list of what the colors are. I can't wait to play with those. That's going to be fun. That was very sweet of you, Tanya. Thank you. Oops. Move those out of the way. They got it all over me, though. <clears throat> It sure was, wasn't it, Judy? That was very sweet. Oh, goodness. Hi, Sherry. I'm glad you're here. I have not talked about it yet. I have several notes here. Let me get my notes. <laughs> Okay, first note, Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time, Tanya and I are going to do a live stream together. Um, we didn't talk about whose channel we're going to do it on, Tanya. Do you want to do it on your channel? We didn't talk about that, but we're going to work uh, some more on that 12 bits journal. We both need some more, um, some more stuff on it. Do you have enough hours left in StreamYard? Hi, Deborah. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Okay, we're going to do it on Tanya's channel at 11 a.m. on Friday. And we're probably going to go to um, 1 or 2 o'clock. Yeah, 1 or 2 o'clock. And then I've got something else I'm going to have to do. So, hi, Andrea. It's good to see you. Okay, we're going to do it on Tanya's channel Friday at 11 a.m. So be looking for that. If you're if you're making a 12 bits journal, you can come you can play along. If you're not, you can play along anyway, or you can start. You don't have to, you know, be almost finished like we're hoping to be almost finished. Hi, Sana. It's good to see you. Okay. Also, Tanya and I are going to be doing the uh, little pop up. Um, book this month and she's got a prep video on her channel if you want to go and watch it we're going to do it on the 14th on her channel and um, are we doing that at noon Tanya I didn't write that down here it's at noon right on um, central time on the 14th and then um, Hi, Kim Maria. I haven't seen you in so long. You haven't missed anything much. I'm just giving a few, um, a few updates on things. 
Yes, at noon. Okay, so on the 14th and the 28th, we're going to be working on that little pop-up book. And we're going to do it at noon central time on the 14th on Tanya's channel and then on the 28th on my channel. Uh, one other thing I wanted to let you know is that um, I'm going to be on with Beth Schuler on Thursday the 23rd. And um, I'm not sure what kind of felting she's going to do that night, but I'm going to wet felt a journal cover. That's what I've decided I want to do. So it's going to be fun to play along with her on that. I haven't ever done any wet felting. I've just been wanting to for a long time. So she she knows what she's doing. So I'm going to let her help me. So that's the other thing that I needed to say. So that should be fun. Hi, Elizabeth. It's good to see you. I'm so glad you're all here. <coughs> Trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about before 7.15. Hi, Ray. I'm glad you're here. I think it will be fun. I've watched videos. It's probably been two or three years since I even watched videos on it. But um, but I, it looks like a lot of fun. Hi, Barbara. So good to see you. Yes. Tanya gave me some oil pastels that are water soluble. I have some regular ones. Um, uh, I can't remember what brand they are. Something I bought for the kids when we were doing art a long time ago in a homeschool group. But I didn't have any that were water soluble. Okay. I asked a question. I saw that scarf. I didn't get to watch ever, watch her make it, but I saw it when she was just about done. Oh, thanks, Barb. Yeah, I'm... <coughs> <coughs> that part hasn't gone away yet. I am not... It's on Beth's channel, but I'm not sure what time she... Whatever time she normally starts. I want to say it's like 6 or 6.30 um, Central Time. But I'm not positive. Whatever time she normally starts, that's when we're doing it. So, hi, Deborah. So, we have two Deborahs tonight. It's good to see all of you. Hi, Rosie. I'm so happy to have you here. Tanya's been trying for, I don't know how long, a week or more, trying to get her internet fixed. Finally today, they got it fixed. She starts at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, so that'll be 6 Central time. On um, That's on Beth's channel on the 23rd, a Thursday. Two weeks. Wow. I think my family would go nuts if we were without internet that was usable for two weeks. I guess it was partly usable, just not really usable. <coughs> but we're glad you got it all fixed. And those 500 other people who didn't complain, they're probably happy too. They just didn't even know <laughs> what was going wrong. Oh. Oh, that's okay. We're not going to be on every Friday anyway, Barbara. We're just going to be doing it this Friday to finish working on that journal. Let me get that and show you since I've got a minute. I'll show you kind of what I've done so far. This is my 12 bits journal. And we've got um, a prep video on, on both our channels about this one. And then um, we've done, we've done several, um, we worked in it several times. There's still, I still got lots of, um, lots of places I need to put stuff, but. And 
and this is a little flip up um, thing to write in. There's like some of these pages um, have what I can make a pocket or I can take it off. I left them so it would be optional. And that's just a collage I did because I was in the mood to do a collage. So, hi, painty girl. Paint, paint girly. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> hi, Mary. It's good to see you. I probably missed some more people while I was looking at this. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. Oh, no. I didn't know. Will everybody be, in, be praying for Lala's? Uh, granddaughter. Goodness, that's scary. Here's another little book. I've made a little bitty mini journal to go in each signature the last time we were doing this together. There's still lots of, lots of room to play in here. I've done quite a bit, but it just, there's just so many pages that. But there's still lots, lots of place to work. And that is my 12 bits journal so far. So, um, thanks. Thanks, Janet. But it's, um, I re I'm really liking it. It's, it's just, I don't want to put so much in it that it, you know, can't shut, but, um, but I do still want to add some more stuff. So. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Okay. I want to go ahead and get started because the first thing I need to do, I didn't, um, I didn't take the guts out of this book. I did the other one um, because I wanted to kind of get, uh, make sure my idea was even going to work. <laughs> when you got an idea and you tell everybody you're going to do it, you really ought to make sure it's going to work before you get started. And so here's, um, this is what we're going to be doing with this book tonight. I have added in a little bit of an extra spine right there, which means that there's some space here between these two so I can put stuff in there. And then we've got this book. And um, so we're going to do the same thing here. And then, and that'll probably bring it out to about there. And then there's still room in the middle where I can put a journal to work in. So this book is going to be, um, going to be a gathering place where I can gather ephemera to work on whatever journal I have in here. I'm going to put it in um, like Midori style where you can stick it in, take it out and change journals. So I'm going to be making lots of pockets and tucks and, um, using file folders and things like that. We'll decorate it too, but mostly it's going to be places I can store stuff that I want to put in whatever journal I've got in here. So that's kind of the plan for me for this book. Now you can make this book and it can be, um, you know, when we made them with the kids in um, for school, we made them out of file folders and we used three file folders and then added in all the stuff. Um, and it was on a certain subject. 
And then you just filled it with stuff that you learned about that subject. So um, that would be a fun way to do it too. Or you could just build it and make, you know, make one of these your journal and, um, and then just work in it. You can do anything you want with them. That's one of the cool things about them is that they're so versatile. Let me tell you what I've done so far and then we'll work on this one. I took the um, stuff out of this one and I put a really hard piece, a really nice thick piece of chipboard in there. And I'm using the same chipboard everywhere. So it's, it looks like this. It's the back of a watercolor pad. And then I added a little bit here and I did this with Tyvek, but I had to, you have to leave space when you do this so that it will fold over like this and, and it'll lay, lay flat in there. Okay. And then I just attached it onto this existing, the back of this book. And I put another piece of that hard board in the spine of this book. And so tonight we're going to add this book in over here with the little extra spine in it. So <coughs> is it too late for the little book? Um, no. Are you talking about the 12 bits book, Melissa? Hi. Are you talking about this book? It's not too late to make one. You can make one anytime you want. Um, but I did already go through and show it. But this is this is what I've what I've been making my 12 bits journal. And um, we are going to work on it Friday at 11 central time. We're going to do some more work in it. So uh, but you can do it anytime you want. We've got videos on both of our channels. Um, and any we've got live streams on both of our channels and it'll say 12 bit journal 12 bit journal um working in the 12 bit journal or whatever so um you can go back and look at all those and see the things that we've done so far and do it anytime you want that's one of the great things about having videos is that you can go back and do it whenever you want to but we are going to work on it some more on Friday at 11 a.m. so before lunch on Friday on Tanya's channel, on Tanya McGuire's channel. And, um, okay, I'm going to get this out of the way for now. And I'm going to take this book apart. If you watched me, um, if you watched me build this one, then the way I had to take this one apart is the same way I'm having to take this one apart. Um, ooh, don't go away. I might need to show these in a minute. Okay. Um, they are sewn in here, but they are also stapled in three places. So I have to go around... Um, yeah, Melissa, if you haven't already subscribe, subscribed to Tanya, you can hover over her name, over the three dots beside her name, and click on go to channel, and it'll take you to another tab to go to her channel, and, then, and you can subscribe. So what I'm going to do now is just, um, I'm going to work on cutting the, And I want to do it where I don't damage this out here. And right there is that where that staple is. So I kind of have to cut around it. I don't know how much y'all can see, but I don't. Um, and then I'm going to cut the, the right here was a stitch and right here was a stitch. Okay, so now that I've got over that um, staple, I can kind of push it back a little bit. And there's another stitch. You kind of have to, I know it sounds terrible, but 
you kind of got to force it to um, and you have to do it carefully. This one step probably is going to take longer than any of the other steps. <laughs> but um, if you haven't done this before, this is uh, one of the harder kinds of books to um, to take out. So I wanted to be able to show you. Okay, so you can see right there where I'm kind of pulling it apart. This fabric is glued in to here and onto the back, and then it's sewn and stapled through that fabric. So, um, so it's it's really a well built book. It's put together really well. This is a World Book Encyclopedia. So, and um, let's see when's it from. Back when they built things really well. This one's from um, 1957. Oh, did I cut through it? Okay, I didn't. Okay, now then, I'm just going to kind of, um, this one is glued better than some of the other ones. There we go. As long as you can keep this, um, this outer cover together and you don't mess it up, you're doing okay. Hi, Joyce. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's. Um, okay, I thought maybe I could come at it from that direction and it might be easier, but I don't think it's going to be. Hi, Kathy. They did pay a lot for them. Yeah, I have a set of encyclopedias that my dad bought when he was in college. And um, they're like not in the 50s. They're I think they're Collier. Now, because I've already cut the um, the stitches on the other side, these will um, come away a little bit easier. But you still got to do it. And there's the staple. got to work with it. Woo. And there's the back and there's the insides of the book. Like safe cracking it is kind of. Huh. Oh look. 
an illustration from Mary Dodge's book, Hans Brinker or the Silver Skates. <laughs> Ooh, there's some pretty dog pictures. Famous domes. Okay, what was that green? Looks like some kind of ephemera we would like a check. Okay. Dorothy, I'm glad you're here. I have to tell you, folks, if you haven't subscribed to Dorothy, you need to do so. She's doing a journal right now. And these are some of the freebies that she's given away. Um, she has a, a beautiful set, which I haven't bought yet, but I plan to. <laughs> uh, and this is just some of them that she's given away for free right now while she's working in this journal. And she's doing, um, she's putting it together step by step on her channel. So um, you need to, you need to go and, and look at her. Um, she's doing a, it's like a beginner. She's doing all the steps, everything that you need. So you, and she does it very sweetly and patiently and shows everything. You'll really enjoy it. Plus the images and things she's using are just gorgeous. But I just I just got this today when I was watching her premiere. And I thought, oh, y'all need to know about this if you don't already. And I had some something to show you too. So if you haven't already subscribed to Dorothy, um, Done by Dorothy, go ahead and do that so you can watch those videos. You'll really enjoy them. She's doing a fun job with that journal. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of this, not permanently, just for now. Okay, one thing that you also need to do when you take these out is you need to clean up these edges. And this book doesn't clean up beautifully. It does clean up, but not beautifully. So, um, so now we've got to do that. And um, and I'm going to take, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this fabric off here. And there's some of the, and if you, if you got, if this is loose, just take it out because you don't want any loose stuff in there that will keep your um, chipboard from gluing down. So just take it out. This one came out a lot cleaner in here than the other one did. Okay. So now I'm going to trim this off. And I'm being really careful not to cut the, the red part, just that fabric. Be patient with yourself and um, stop and look at things if you feel unsure about what you're cutting. Okay. Now there's that. This one came up apart much nicer than the other one did. Um, this one still doesn't want to lay down as nicely. But it's fine. It doesn't need to. But. Um, so here's the. Um, oh, that's not quite wide enough. Hmm. <coughs> well, let's see. See, I, I measured from the outside. And um, so I was measuring this and it does fit that perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it in and let it be like this. Uh, 
Well, I'm so glad you found us, Andrea. We're happy to have you hanging out with us. And yeah, we got, we got, there's a lot going on. Um, we got, there's just so many people who do so many fun things that you can't do everything. And I have to make this a little smaller because I, I cut it, um, too long. I think when I was cutting this, I turned the, I cut the first one and then I turned the pad the wrong direction and cut the rest of them. And so I've had to cut off all the other ones. And I should have put a cutting board under there. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry that y'all are having to listen to me croak, but I wanted to do this tonight. I'm so tired of not being able to do anything. So, and I'm using art glitter glue. Um, that's what I've used for everything that I've done so far. And you want quite a bit of it on the back of this because you want to make sure it really glues down. Whoops. If you get somewhere you don't want it, just pick it up real quick. Okay, and I'm trying to put it right in the middle of that back. And then I'm just going to hold it down really good. This um, art glitter glue catches pretty quick, but still, you want to um, give it as much as you can. Oh, you are so welcome, Andrea. While I'm holding this down, does anybody have any questions about taking books apart or um, re-strengthening the spines or anything that on the steps that we're doing right now? If you have questions, I'm happy to ask, I mean, answer them while I'm sitting here holding glue. <laughs> or if you have questions about anything that has to do with this lap book or anything else. Um, it doesn't have to be what we're working on. That's just what where my mind is at the moment. Hi, Cheryl. I'm glad you're here. Is Joan um, Bell in here? I can't remember. I was thinking I'd seen her earlier, but I'm not positive. Hello, Cheryl. I've got two Cheryls. Are you in here twice, Cheryl? Or do we really have two Cheryls? <laughs> Cheryl Norman and um, Cheryl John. I'm happy you're both here. Okay, Joan and Joyce, I finally today got your packages mailed out. Um, they should be there on Thursday, so I'm just letting you know. Yes, I am going to decorate the lap book, but it won't be today. <laughs> um, this is going to be a project that's going to take weeks and weeks, so I'm just going to tell you right now. We're going to just go through and do it real time 
And however long it takes me to do it, that's how long it takes me to do it. Um, I am planning to use this uh, green paper um, to do like a faux leather finish on the outside of the book. And if we have time tonight to get to that, I'll do it. I don't know if we'll have time tonight to get to that or not. If we don't have time, I'll do it next week. But my plan tonight is to get it put together and get all the spines uh, reinforced and ready to decorate and to start adding stuff in. And then we'll start adding stuff in later. So you're very welcome, Joan. Okay, Terry, we'll be here. Okay. Now then, um, I'm going to let this dry a little bit more before we work on, um, in fact, I think I need to set something heavy on it for a little bit. If I can find something heavy. Well, I'm just going to set it aside. I'm just going to set it aside for now. And we're going to um, come in and I'm going to go ahead and use some Tyvek. You don't have to use Tyvek. You can go straight to the next um, thing, which is to put fabric over it. You don't even have to use fabric. You can use paper. But um, I'm going to use Tyvek and fabric to strengthen all my spines. And, um, and then I'll probably, when I'm decorating, I will put paper up to the spine and paper in the spine. But I'll leave all the joints to be just fabric. So that's what I'm planning to do. Thank you, Dorothy. When you're using Tyvek, it does not bend as well. Um, it doesn't bend as well around things like right here. You have to put a lot of effort in to get it to do that. And I've learned the hard way that the best thing to do let me cut this the right length first. The best thing to do is to do one side and then um, and then the ditch and then this and then the ditch and then this. And that way it has, um, you can let it, you can let it work. Um, So what I'm going to do is glue this side down and the ditch. Now this is a really big ditch, so it might be easier to do than some of them where they're skinny. But you have to put glue down in that ditch to get it to stick down too. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, in size or in, um, I did make it just a little bit too long though. And I'm using the Tyvek because it is so strong. But if you don't have Tyvek there, you can use anything else you want. Fabric would be my next choice. Oh. Good grief, Lisa. Okay. Got to put some more glue in there now because I... Okay. Now I'm going to really press this down with the bone folder. And then I'm going to go right here beside it and... Um, Press in here. I'm not used to working in that direction. Let me move it a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. You want to really press that in 
and you're not going to ruin this Tyvek. If it was paper, you'd have to be more careful, but the Tyvek is not going to be a problem. Okay. And you can see that if I fold it up, stand it up, it's good. I'll go back and rub this down again. Okay. Now I'm going to put some more glue right here along this piece of board. Okay, and we're going to rub that down. Rub it really hard and then push. Okay, so it's 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 nice and tight there and this is almost not long enough Ooh, I went too far over here I thought I had this plenty plenty wide so make it wider than you think it needs to be <laughs> And when you're um, when you're rubbing it down, it moves. See how that it doesn't cover that up. It's okay because I'm going to cover it with fabric, and this is mostly for strength and not for um, not for looks. So it's okay. But Now we're going to really tuck that in good. I got some extra glue. Handy wipes are your friend. Diaper wipes, baby wipes, whatever you want to call them. I'm sorry you're struggling, Violet. Computer struggles are not fun. Okay. Now that's ready. We're just going to let that sit. Um, but you can see it, it folds shut easy, and that's what we want. We want to make sure we're not binding anything. And then... We've got to put some here to cover this up and tuck in there so this can be really strong connected on this side it's connected here by out here but now we want to make sure it's really strongly connected in here so um so we're going to make this pretty long Yeah, just hate the inconvenience. Uh, 
Okay. All right, we're going to start right here. And then we're going to go ahead and go down in the ditch. And I probably took, put too much glue in the ditch, but... I don't want to take any chances. Okay, and now we're just going to work on this part right here first and get it to really stick. And this art glitter glue sticks faster than like Elmer's or something like that would, but it still takes a minute. You still got to give it a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to go to the ditch. I don't know if y'all saw that, but when I started doing the ditch here, this came up. And so I'm trying to hold that piece down while I do the ditch. Okay, and now I'm going to put glue on the spine here. Little tiny spine though it is. This is the tiniest hardboard spine I've ever put in anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and put glue down in the ditch. And we're going to really do that too. Press it down really good. And go back to our ditch and then press again. Are y'all getting bored already? Okay, let's press that down really good. And now we're going to go down in the ditch, take another shot. I don't drink either, but. Okay. Whew. I'm, I'm causing Andrea to drink. Sorry, Andrea. Well, sorting clothes is important. I have two hampers full that need to be done. I don't know if they'll get done tonight or tomorrow. They're washed. They're clean. Luckily, they're not things that wrinkle, but, you know, towels and undershirts and things like that. But still needs to be done.
I'm going to have to put some extra glue there to make sure that it glues down there. Now, because we're going on to another book cover, it's like we've got this extra ditch here. Um, well, hello, Holly. Um, it's good to have another Holly here. We're glad you're here. Okay. Now we want all these things to really glue down well. So we have to take, give them a little extra time. Okay, so now let's take this. And you can see here's where my extra spine is right there. And if you look at it from this way, it looks like this. So we've got an extra little place here we can put stuff. If we only used um, two books, two books, one on each side here, and then a big spine, then you wouldn't have that extra place in there. Um, this is a little bit more difficult to do than I thought it was going to be when I decided I was going to do it this way. But... Um, you can make it from whatever book covers you want to, to make it whatever size you want. What's important, Dawn, is that the books all be the same size, width and height. And then you want two small books and one really fat one. So that you can, um, so that you can do this. And there'll be another one over here. Let me find that one and show you. See, and then we're going to attach this one just like that. So they just need to be the same height and the same width. And then your two little books need to fit inside your big one. So encyclopedias are a good thing to use. These are old world book encyclopedias. But this is a book that Hannah got at the thrift store. She thought she was going to do for government this year. And then she decided it was a little bit more government than she wanted. So she got a different book um, that was more like a, a semester's worth of government instead of a two years worth. Um, but she gave me the cover to this book. So, so that's what I'm using as my outside base. You're welcome, Dawn. Holly wanted to know. Yes, I'm using art glitter glue. This is my favorite liquid glue. Um, I don't use it for things that you would use Mod Podge on. But for anything that you would use a, a PVA glue, this is the PVA glue I like best. Okay, now we still need to do inside this one <coughs> with our Tyvek or fabric or whatever it is you're using. Okay, scissors. Okay, now I think this one, I need to cut it down. It's a little too wide.
Okay. And that's what I'm going to use. No, I think I need to cut it down just a little bit more. The only place I find it is um, on Amazon. I haven't seen it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I haven't seen it at Walmart. The only place I've seen it is on Amazon. And um, they some if the if the temperatures are going to be below freezing, they won't ship it. So, well, Amazon might, but other other people won't. Um, so that's why when I buy, I always buy a bigger one <laughs> to refill so that I can, um, I can have some to last. It, um, you can use other kinds of glue. Yeah. You put it in a small bottle and refill it. Um, and since I use it all the time, mine doesn't last as long as I would like it to, but Okay, but it does last a while. You can get, um, they have it in, this is a two ounce bottle. They have four ounce bottles and eight ounce bottles. The four ounce bottle, um, when it gets low at all, it's really a lot of squeezing. So that's why I like to put it in the two ounce bottle. But the four ounce bottle is cheaper if you're, you know, per ounce than the two ounce bottle is. But um, I decided it was worth a little extra money for my hand. So. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this one. This one has a really, really deep ditch here, so um, it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of work to get to get it to form that to fill that. Um, I have confidence, though. Okay, we're going to start out from really getting this down here. And then I'm going to just kind of move over here. Yeah, these um, Tyvek envelopes are humongous. Let's see if I can. This is about half of one. Um, I got them at the thrift store. There were like 35 of them in a box for $3. So, um, I should have enough Tyvek to last a while. Okay, now I've got to put some more glue right in the ditch here. Come on. I got it clogged up. Did all that and didn't even get any glue out.
Okay. We're going to use the bone folder. Okay. Now then we've got to put our glue across here. going to hold it for a little bit before we do the other ditch. Okay. Got bluey hands. Are y'all still with me? There's a lot of steps. This is the boring part. I know the fun part will come when we get to add pockets and flips and stuff and decorate, but this part's important because it's the foundation of the book. Okay, now we're going to go down into this stitch. Woo! Oops, I just dropped my other book. <laughs> See if we can reach it with a foot. Oh, goodness. Okay. Set it up here out of the way. Okay. Now I'm trying to do this side over here like this. At the same time, I'm doing this ditch. Yes, good quality cloth bound books will make a huge difference. You don't have to do that and you can make these out of cereal boxes if you want to. But if you're going to put as much time into it um and you can and you can find book, you know, good books, you'll be happier with the result. When you buy the art glitter glue, they some some places on Amazon, when you look up art glitter glue, you can buy these tips separate with the pen that goes in them. Now the prettiness on here was given to me by a friend um, because I kept losing my pen. But um, 
but it comes with it comes with the tip and a pen and the pen are, is stainless steel non-rusting so um you want to hold on to the pen i was so bad about losing my pens that i actually bought some stainless steel non-rusting sewing pens so that i would have them <laughs> Okay. Good night, Mary. I'm sorry, I'm so boring. Get some sleep. Maybe it'll be more fun next week. Someone might sell the decorated pins. It would be a good thing to do. I haven't seen them for sale, but that certainly doesn't mean they're not for sale. Okay. Now we've got everything except the one that we need to add in over here is all supported and um, strong and we can be happy about that. So I'm going to um, I'm going to turn it around so I can work over here. And let's see. Cut this piece of Tyvek here. Oh, shoot. I forgot I want to wrap this. So I need it to be longer. So I'm going to have to cut another piece. Um. Was not thinking about that. Let me get the paper cutter. Oh, where did I put it? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, I missed something here. Okay, um, just a second, and I'll show you. You can make this with two books. You can make it with two small books and a big piece of chipboard. Or you can make it with a big book and two book covers so that you have... A book that just does this this is how most people do them okay so they end up looking like this it flips out and in like this okay now I'm just wanting to add a little bit so I have more places to put things so that's why I decided to do three books 
but I'm still going to have space here in the middle to store a journal Midori style so that I can gather up ephemera to work in that particular journal and then I can carry the whole thing with me and I can work in this journal and when I'm through with this journal I take it out and put another one in and gather stuff for that one that's the plan I hope that makes sense um I hope that makes sense okay Okay, now this is um, not straight, so I want to straighten it out. It'll be easier to use if it's straight. That side's fairly straight, but not completely, so... Okay, and now I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to cut this side straight, or at least relatively straight. Okay. Okay, thanks, Violet. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this strip down right in the middle and glue it to the middle of this type piece of Tyvek. Because this is our extra little spine. And you do not have to make it with an extra spine if you don't want to. The ones, um, this is how I had in my head to do it. And then I went looking for videos and nobody was doing it this way. Everybody was just using two books, basically, and a big spine. And um, I just, I started to just do it the way they were doing it. And then I decided, no, I just want to try this. So that's why I'm still doing it this way. <laughs> Hi, Lori. It's good to see you. In the prep video, I did telling you what I was going to do and to find three books. And I, I did, I put links um, in the description box for Nick the Booksmith and Amy Al John. So you could watch their series on this and you, you could, um, we're going to do a lot of the same stuff inside. They're just building theirs differently. So if you want a little bit simpler build, you can do that instead of this. Won't hurt my feelings at all. Okay. I need to let this sit a minute. Aren't you glad I did a little bit of this in, ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch me do both sides? Because that would really take forever. We've already been working on this an hour. I was really hoping to be working on decorating my, you know, covering my cover by now. But not yet. Okay. Now then I'm going to put this 
on and I'm going to leave space about like that because I want this to be able to fold up and lay flat against the edge. Oops. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and slide it under here and um, line up the edge of the board. And then press it down. Thanks, Violet. I hope so. I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun to make and to use. Okay. Now then... I'm going to move that like that. And what we want to do is take this edge I don't guess it really matters. And we're going to put it on there like that. No, let me look at this side again, because I want to do it the same way I did over here. Yes, that's how I did it. Okay. So we're going to put it on just like this and do the same thing. Now, I probably got too much glue right on the edge there. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to press right here. Okay, now I'm going to take this and turn. Oh, okay, don't do that. It wasn't time yet. <laughs> okay. Now, now I've got to add some more glue. I was trying to turn it over, but it wasn't time to turn it over yet. Goodness. Okay. Let's try this again. We're going to let it sit longer this time, y'all. Yay, Terry. Okay. 
Susan, I want you to post some pictures of your lap book that you've been making. She couldn't wait for me to get started, so she just went ahead and made one. <laughs> and I haven't got to see it yet. You need to show me in the group. Oh, that wouldn't that be nice? A really skinny brick. <laughs> Good night, Cheryl. Thanks for coming by. Good night, Holly. Thank you for coming over, too. What kind of help do you need, Susan? I bet there's somebody in the group who can help. Good night, Dorothy. Thanks for coming over. Okay. Just want to make sure this is going to be glued down good. All right, now we want to, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I want to cut right here. Come on. Because I want to glue this up inside here. And, I want, and then I want to glue this here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, that's another way to kind of reinforce it. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't put the sign out. Okay, I, I, I knew someone to hear you came to show off and get a hug. Okay, well, I'm glad to give you a hug, and I'm glad to show off your stuff, too. Looky here. This is what Hannah just drew. It's for a story she's writing. Isn't that pretty? Well, pretty. I don't know if pretty is the right word. Can a dragon, a picture of a dragon be pretty? Dragons can be pretty. This one's not supposed to be. Well, he's a very fierce looking dragon. Yes. Do you even notice the despondent little man? Oh, yeah. There's a despondent little man here kneeling. That, that's kind of an important part. It is important. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious there's a little guy down there, but um, right. Violet says, very cool, Hannah. Love dragons. River City says, Hannah! With exclamation point. Oh, here's another. Is this the. Um, 
It's a map. Just well, I, I know it. Oh, it's just a map. It doesn't correlate to any of your stories. No, I just doodle those things from time to time. When she gets anxious and needs to relax, this is what she does. <laughs> I collage. She draws maps. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it and showing everybody, hun. Now let me give you a hug. There was oh. one. Did it get moved? It can move. I thought this was on here. Must be on here. Sorry. It's okay. She brought ah, something else. That. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one's hard to see because mm. it's just in pencil. She hasn't inked it yet. But it says he is risen. And then over here, it says it is finished. I think those are really great, too. Thank you, sweetie. Now for the hug. Now for the hug. Okay. Sorry, gang. I got to give my sweet baby girl a hug. Mm. Love you, honey. Love you too. Okay. Now I got to get back to work. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> okay. They're all saying this beautiful, awesome drawing. Great dragon. Wow, beautiful. Way cool. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, that's a good way to relax. No side effects. I agree. And I'm glad she's figured it out at a young age. She's 17. So she's not real young, but <laughs> but better to know now than later. Hi, Carlana. I'm glad you're here. Oh, thanks. She does she does great. She's much more gifted artistically than her mama. She does Beautiful stuff. My son can draw really good, too. He likes to draw giant robots and um, things like that. Some anime. Okay, so we want to get that down really good. Oh, you missed the dragon. I'm sorry, Holly. She took it with her. Um, but yeah, you'll need to watch the replay because it was, it's a really great dragon. She did a really good job. Yeah, a dragon and a hug. You can't beat that, can you? Okay. Okay, now then we've got to do two more Tyvek pieces and we will have our, um, our base for our book. So let 
let's start with this one. Okay, now then I do want to straighten up this edge. It's kind of yucky. Um, oh, I'm sorry you couldn't find the right place, Holly. Um, need a new blade I think okay I'm going to go ahead and turn it back around because I work better from this side and we're going to do this one like we did the other one um where we start here and then do the ditch and then there and then the ditch and then here and Thanks, Terry. I can't wait to see. We're going to let this just catch the glue here. Okay, now we're going to put some glue on top of this. And then down in the ditch over here. I'm sorry I'm boring y'all I haven't gotten anything exciting to talk about 
All I've done lately is try to get well. I haven't done anything exciting. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Violet. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the ditches, Andrea. Because <laughs> there's a lot of them in this book. There's a lot of them. Good night, Teresa. Thanks for coming and being with us. Sleep well. <coughs> oh, it's not too complicated for you, Holly. If I can do it, you can do it. It may be too complicated for you to want to do, and that's perfectly fine. Um, you don't have to want to do it, but it's not too complicated for you to be able to do. going to let this sit just a little bit um oh see should have let it sit a little longer before i did that before we um turn it over and do the inside we're gonna let it sit a minute and i'm just gonna talk a little bit about um my plans for inside and y'all can decide what you want to do inside. Um, good night, Dawn. Thanks for coming over. I'm going to use probably a mixture of papers. Um, I don't want to buy anything specifically for this journal. Um, you know, any papers. So I want to use, um, book papers out of books I've already got and scrapbook paper that I already have and maybe some wallpaper. I don't know. This is going to be just as eclectic as everything else I do. So, um, but if you wanted to use, you know, a certain, um, digital kit or a certain scrapbook paper pad. I really thought about going out and buying one of those Tim Holtz scrapbook paper pads because I've seen people using them and they're lovely, but I decided I really don't need to do that. Um, 
Yeah, Tanya. Tanya said she's going to have used half of her bottle of art glitter glue. Well, I've definitely used, um, I've used more than half of this one. And I had some of it done already. So um, it's a lot, it takes a lot of glue to do this. So um, this might not, this might be a project that you want to use a cheaper glue for. I don't know. I just know that the art glitter glue holds. And so that's why I want to use it. But yeah. It, anyway, for the outside of my book, I'm going to use this. Well, I'm going to have to cut off that part. But this is really thin. It's um, paint masking paper. It costs about $5 for a roll of it. And there's... Oh, how much on the roll? 60 yards on the roll. So there's a lot of paper. Um, and so, um, so I'm going to use this to do the outside of my cover and make my leather look kind of greenish. You, you can do anything you want. Other people have used fabric or uh, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to use this. And I'm going to crumple it up and um, glue it on, kind of like you would tissue paper. And if y'all want to use tissue paper, that would work too. I thought about doing that until I remembered I had this green stuff that I had never used. So... What can you do with wallpaper? Can you write? Um, I would use wallpaper for um, like background to cover the background or to make pockets or things like that. If I want to use wallpaper, but I want to be able to write on it, I usually back it with some coffee dyed paper or something like that. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do the inside here. And then we can be um, done with this build it step. Okay, I'll let me show you once I get this step done, Holly. And I think that will make it more clear once I've got it all put together. And, it, and I'll show you why it can be done with two books instead of three if you don't want to use three. Okay. We're going to start right over here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, goodness. That's not good, Tanya. 
Is anybody else having buffering problems? Hi, Sharon. It's good to see you here. My Facebook group is Lisa My Eclectic Life. Yes, Cheryl. Okay. Now then I'm going to put, whoops. You just got to give it some time. I keep being impatient. Okay, now we're going to do this stitch right here. I'm almost through using that word, Andrea. So get your jollies while you can. Okay, we want to get that really down good before we put our glue on here because we don't want it to pull it up. And it will if it's not glued down real good. Back to work, Tanya. Tanya's playing along and she's making a video. I'm not sure when she'll have it uploaded, but she's making a video of what she's doing. So you're going to get to watch her too. Isn't that cool? Oh, sorry. Good grief. Squeaky, squeaky. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's going to be a while. She's got to learn how to do voiceovers. I haven't tried that. I keep thinking I'm going to I'm going to do that, learn how to do that too, but but I haven't I haven't figured it out yet. <clears throat> you figure it out and then you can teach me. I have about run out of steam, Joan. Once we get this done, I'm going to show you what it looks like and Maybe you can, um, we can understand why we've used three books and then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> oh, sorry about that squeaking.
<laughs> my voice is disappearing. Yeah, it is. I haven't talked this much in days. I appreciate all of you standing by me and being here while I did all this, even though I'm croaky. Hi, Lucy. It's good to see you. I'm going to give this just a minute more to sit here before we try to fold it up and show you um, how functional I'm hoping it's going to be. <laughs> Okay. Whew. We've got Tyvek everywhere. Hello, Kath. I'm glad you're here. I hope that you've been watching and just now got into the chat rather than just now showing up because we're about to quit. <laughs> I'm running out of steam. Next week, we're going to um, decorate the cover. I'm going to do a faux leather with this... Um, kind of paper it'll be one of those things where you kind of wad it up and then um, glue it down and ink it and paint it and um, so it'll hopefully still have some green when um, when it get is all finished green and copper that's what i'm hoping my how i'm hoping my cover is going to be one thing i'm going to do between now and next time i'll just tell you because um we won't be able to do this step until that's done and that would be a very boring um thing to watch this will be much more exciting than just painting it. And that's what I'm going to do between now and then. I'm going to paint it blue. Okay, let me. Okay. Here is our book. Okay. So from the top, it will look like this. And right in here, on this spine, I'm going to have a place to put a, like, one signature junk journal that you can take in and out. It'll be Midori style. And in all of these places, I'm going to have things that flip up and flip down and flip in and flip out and hold pockets and tucks. And so you can put a bunch of ephemera in there to use in the journal that you attach in here. Um, and one reason I want to do this is because just so I have an example book of all the different kinds of things like that you can do. And then the other reason is as a, to use it as a gathering place for, um, stuff to work in. Now, this is why I used three books because I wanted these extra little spaces in here. It may be a year long project. Hopefully, it'll go faster than that. But um, you could use two books. Let's just pretend that this is two books here, okay? You could use two books and then attach on this, um, on this book board, you could attach a big piece to make it however wide you want. So you could use two small books and a big spine that you add on 
And that would be another way to do this, but you wouldn't have this space in here. But that's how most of them are done by either doing that and adding one spine to two books or by having one big book and two covers from another book. Then you attach a spine here and a spine here to attach these book covers to the big book. Okay. Um, Nick the Booksmith. I think she used a big book and two covers to attach to it. So it will open like this. Okay, this is the basic lap book right here. These openings right here. Now I'm just adding in two more. Okay, that's the only difference between mine and, and hers. Al, Amy at Al John, she took um, two books and added a spine. So there are, um, there are numerous ways you can do it. But um, having all the things that flip in and flip out and tuck and pockets and all of that, you will use up all of this space in here adding those things in and you'll be amazed at how fast it will really fill up. And so there's not going to be room for a very big journal in here. Just about this big. So it will just be a one signature journal that I'm going to put in to work in. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, thank you, Ray. Have a good night. Do you understand now why I added, used three books instead of just two and added little spines just to give me some more flip places? That's the only reason. But most of them look like this without these two pieces right here. It's just these and these and this and this. And then you flip them out open like this and work in them. I got. Now this one has yucky corners where they looked like it got chewed up by something. So um, that's another reason why I'm covering everything with this paper to kind of um, hide that. So. Okay, so that's kind of how it's going to be about like this, and but it'll be full of stuff in there. Whew. Okay, now one reason, the reason I'm going to paint it is because these, this tie back out here will show through and it'll look different. The green, um, once it gets wet and stuff, I'm afraid it'll look different underneath there than all of the oranges and reds. Um, thanks, Barbara. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cover these outside, the spines, and this cover. All I'm gonna paint it all blue between now and next time. And then we're going to do the faux leather. The blue will just be an undercoating that you won't even really notice is there. The only reason I decided to do that was because I watched someone make a faux leather with this green stuff over a manila folder. And you could see the yellow through it. And I don't want the white to show through. So I decided that if I'm going to paint it, I might as well paint it a color that would go good with green. And that's why I chose blue. So... We're going to, I'm just going to let this sit and um, finish drying and I will see y'all. Um, I'll see y'all on Monday, next Monday, and we'll, we'll keep going. Thank you.
Love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.